Hey, what's up, guys? So, back at the property, finishing off where we left off yesterday. So, um, we have a lot of stuff to do. I played around with some of these cabinet handles, and we have a lot more to go. So, we're gonna honestly just get straight to it, man. Let's go. We still have to get up here, here, and the bottom ones, and these ones at the top, and that one. And then I'm gonna bring you guys right back. And now the 30 piece hardware for the cabinets are installed with seven left over to go. Also, I need a recommendation. For the best you can, tell me how well that matches. Is it solid? Do you like it? Does it match? What do you think? Personally, out of all of the different grades I picked up today, the dolphin fin matched the most. I think that's her. All right, guys, so for unit one, um, the kitchen faucet, I have to replace that one because it's, it's acting really weird with the pressure. My plumber showed me a little trick and it's defective exactly where he, he told me it messes up at typically. So I'm gonna get that replaced out. I'm gonna to talk to one of my handy guys and see how much it will cost to retile the bathroom. Given the, the condition of this unit, this unit might be the unit that uh, we put on section eight. And I say that because it's in better condition than upstairs. So to the, just let you guys know really quickly, I don't know what happened with the communication between my team and the seller's team, but the second I closed on the property, I found out that the tenant upstairs moved out and they left it in a pretty crummy condition. So, we're gonna have to get that together, figure it out in time before these mortgage payments are due because I have to live in one of these units and the unit upstairs is not acceptable to be rented out. On top of that, I do not have any keys to the unit upstairs, so I had to learn how to pop some locks. Let me show you something. So, I was giving it some time. I was reaching out to the tenants. I was calling them, calling them, calling them. They weren't answering, and I finally just came to the property and I talked to one of the neighbors. I said, hey, you know, did the people upstairs, they move out? They said, yeah, they moved out. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So then I had the courage to go ahead and pop the locks. Now, I do not condone popping locks, but this is exactly what I use, man. And I'm not gonna go into the depth of how I did it because I don't think this is a savorably good thing to know how to do, but this is what I did. These were my pins that I use. Right, I know you definitely can't see it. Let me get my face out of the way. These are my pins that I used, fake keys that I used to turn the locks. So, are you ready to be so disappointed with the upstairs? If you are, let's go. All right, gang, so starting off, this is the raw, honest truth of our real estate, man. This deal got it at a good price, so I'm not even tripping about this. But this is the truth of what you have to deal with and what you have to be prepared to solve if you're going to last in this game. So, starting off, I really thank the Lord that this lock wasn't locked because I don't really even know how I would have picked this lock. I don't even know how I would have picked this lock. So I'm just glad it's, it wasn't there. Now, I had to pick the deadbolt. And this one I had to just knock off with a hammer because I, I didn't have the patience to sit there and keep trying to pick these locks. It's not my profession, it's not easy. So this is the stuff we are dealing with. All right guys, this is what we're dealing with. This is what we are dealing with. This is her. We got cigarettes, brandy, some smoke, bed, fan. T-shirt, great goose, baby. It's empty. No lie, this room will make a solid office too. I'm not even tripping about that.
room number two. Room number two. Closets are pretty big. I say that. Now, before I show you this bathroom, make sure you hit the like button, comment something down below. Before I show you this bathroom, make sure you hit the like button, comment something down below. Because after you see this, you're gonna definitely have something to say. But this is, this is gonna be needed. This bathroom is going to need to be brought back to 2022. So, that being said, I have a handyman coming through, and this is what she is looking like. Bedroom number three. This one is a little bit smaller. This is the kitchen. Some free Modellos. But yeah, man. So yeah, man, so listen, this is how folks will be living out in the city. We're gonna just go ahead and get it right, get it tight, and um, get it prepared for Chicago management style. And um, that being said, man, I'm gonna just keep y'all updated on everything. Step number one is gonna be the great clean out. So I'm gonna get started on that and bring y'all back. Hopefully this is gonna be fun for y'all to watch. First off, let's open up some windows, air this thing out. Matter of fact, do y'all think I can clear this out the first day? I think I can do it. This house is fighting back, you heard me? I'm tired already. It's only like 6'10". I'm exhausted. But, she's looking a lot better. This is some stuff that don't necessarily gotta get thrown out. Some mail that I really, I'm going to need to, you know, hook up the gas and all of that good stuff. This might be my office. Gotta take this out. A lot of patching. Yeah. This baseboard is gonna have to get sanded. And it's gonna go back white. And this is some more stuff that I just centralized here. I don't know, alcohol, I guess behind a whole bunch of posters. That's why this past FHA, it was hidden. Um, let's see. This is actually a pretty nice size bedroom for Chicago. So that door has to get replaced, door knob. Cleaned this up a lot. This is getting cleaned up a lot, a lot, a lot. This boy's room was, ooh, this motherfucker had food laying around, all of that good stuff. He has bugs in here. So, I'm going to have to do a lot. Everything has to go outside. All right, YouTube, quick rundown of what we did today. One man clean out. One man clean out. Just getting stuff out, stuff out. Stuff has to go out. Remember that. You take out this carpet. And I know you're not here, but it smells a little bit better. As I was pulling that carpet out, it smelled like kids' feet. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It smelled like kids' feet. That light is actually pretty bright. On to the next. This room, I haven't ripped out the carpet yet. But, this is what she looking like, man. Once I clean it up, it's gonna be nice. And these floors, these floors are really nice. This breeze coming through this window is really good. This is her. 
one man clean out crew. This is what I can do for today as far as throwing everything out. So uh, I'm gonna go to the store and grab some stuff that I need and then I'm gonna bring y'all right back. All right, so what's your initial thoughts? It smells like an old man that used to smoke with the windows closed. And we saw a lot of cigarette butts and all of that nasty stuff. But I can say this, since I took these carpets out, it smells a little bit better. It smells a little bit better. So that being said, um, this is some stuff that could stay. These weights could stay. This bedroom is pretty big though. We got a lot cut out for us guys, but we are gonna figure this shit out. We are gonna get it right. In time, in between time, we got some sticky notes. Some sticky notes. And funny thing is, I was cleaning this out with all of their supplies as far as their bags and stuff like that. This secret sticky note message to Santa. Santa Bug. pieces to the puzzle that's going to allow me to sleep good at night is in this bag. Now whenever you buy a property, make sure you, uh, you get your locks. This is like day number three and I, I was having the basic locks for like two days. I was trying to get in contact with the tenant. Unfortunately, but great, the tenant moved out because the way they was living went up to my standards. And being bothered with cuss wasn't gonna be fun for me, so I'm glad they moved out. Each one of these locks have their own keys, but this is Quick Set's smart key system. So once I buy the smart key pins, I can always reset these keys to match. So I can match like these two, I can match with those. So the biggest problem with being a landlord is having like a sets of keys so hopefully this solve that for us so all right guys so that being said uh make sure you hit the like button comment something down below it's gonna be greatly appreciated i really want you to stay tuned on yeah. this remodel slash i don't know what you want to call this but 